Another thing that government can do is encourage the development of energy sources other than fossil fuels. But some alternative forms of energy are themselves controversial. Take nuclear power. Nuclear power plants, like this one, don't release carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Therefore, they don't contribute to the greenhouse effect and global warming. Nuclear power plants also generate electricity without polluting the air with chemicals that cause acid rain or smog. But critics of nuclear energy argue that it has its own problems. For one thing, they say, there is the risk of an accident that could release dangerous amounts of radiation into the environment. Humans exposed to such radiation could become extremely sick or die. Workers like these at nuclear power plants, in fact, take many precautions to avoid contact with radiation. Critics also protest that nuclear power plants produce waste that remains radioactive for thousands of years and we have yet to figure out a safe way to dispose of this waste or store it until it is safe. People who support nuclear energy say that new designs for power plants make accidents very unlikely and that the problems of waste storage and disposal can be solved. They argue that we should build more nuclear power plants to provide energy without smog, acid rain or global warming. Others continue to disagree saying that these benefits are not worth the risks that nuclear energy poses. There are other alternative sources of energy. One is flowing water. Mills like this used water for energy for hundreds of years to do work such as grinding grain into flour. Today, large dams harness the power of flowing water. When water flows through these dams, they turn machines called turbines. These turbines help generate electricity. Electricity created this way is called hydroelectricity. Hydroelectricity, like nuclear power, doesn't pollute the air or add to the greenhouse effect. But there may be a price to be paid in other ways. When large dams are built, huge areas of land above the dam are covered with water. Dams change rivers that once ran wild and free, often destroying the homes of fish and other wildlife in the process. Another alternative source of energy is the sun. Energy from the sun is called solar energy. All living things depend on solar energy to survive. Plants use the energy of sunlight to manufacture their own food. And we, in turn, depend on plants and on the meat of animals that have eaten plants for our food. We can use solar energy in other ways. The roof of this house has solar collectors that use the sun's energy to heat water. One disadvantage of such collectors is that they don't work during the night or when it is cloudy. But solar energy can also be used to generate electricity and store it in batteries. These cars participated in a special race from Florida to Indiana. Each car depended for energy not on gasoline, but on special fuel cells called photovoltaic cells. When sunlight strikes these cells, chemical reactions occur that generate electricity. Solar energy doesn't pollute the air or add to the greenhouse effect. A drawback of solar energy, however, is that solar collectors and photovoltaic cells are still very expensive, although progress is being made in bringing down the costs. The wind is another non-polluting source of energy. Just as the wind can drive this pinwheel, it can also drive much larger windmills to generate electricity, like these windmills in the Altamont Pass in California. Wind power doesn't pollute the air or contribute to global warming by producing carbon dioxide. But not many places are as windy as the Altamont Pass. And even there, the wind doesn't blow all the time.